an idiot! What an idiot! Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I am actually out here in my outdoor man cave. It's about 92 degrees. Got the ceiling fans going. Got my red fan down here on the floor and everything else. And we're cool. We are cool. We are cool, calm, and collected because tomorrow the Dallas Cowboys charter is headed for Oxnard. They're going back to Cali, to Cali, to Cali. The Cowboys are going back to Cali. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, they are. And you know what's funny is I, I, well, this this is this is funny. I I thought I heard something about Cowboys, you know, trading for an Eagle receiver or something. Like, you know, this is the off season noise that we get right now. You know, it's all bullshit. Okay, Let, let's be clear here. This is the rumors that get you going. You know, I, I'm sure everybody's done a video or so about it and things and all that. So, of course, my man Philly five hundred. Just sent me a copy of his latest video where he is talking about this proposed trade. Now, this, what's funny is the last time the Cowboys traded for somebody, it was Amari Cooper. Do you really think the Cowboys are going to be trading for something? Well, no, they actually they did trade for uh, Robert Quinn. But, but that, those are minor moves. But, I mean, major trades. Although, this guy that they're talking about trading for, the Eagles should basically – Throw something in. Throw a pick in to try and get rid of him because this guy is ass. Philly, 500. Say, take it away, son. Yo, my do way, King Dingbat. Here, I hope everybody's having yeah, a great day. Yeah, you're Dingbat. Hope you're hanging in there. Mm -hmm. This has to be the proof, the proof we need to know that the Dallas Cowboys have to be scared of the Philadelphia Eagles because if they did this trade, they would have to be Totally, totally desperate. Now, we're going to get into it in a minute, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe for daily Eagles content. NFL so, I, I was sitting here wondering who, who they were talking about trading for, because I, I, I'm like, Cannot seriously? Wait. It's going to be crazy, all right? It's going to be fun. So, you definitely subscribe if you haven't, and if you've been subscribed for a while, just double check. Double moonwalk check. Double moonwalk. Make sure you're still subscribed. Now, it's it's pretty late at night, it's still dark outside, all that stuff. And and I wasn't really going to do anything. I was going to kick back, kick watch back, some more Better Call Saul's, you know, Better mm -hmm. Call Saul. And I'm sitting back like Denzel Washington. And, here and we, here I we go with the Denzel. This article on SI. Now, this article is talking about the Cowboys and a potential trade <laughs> for wide receiver Jalen. Oh Rager. boy. What? Did you hear what I just said? Jalen Rager of the Eagles? What are they crazy? What are they sick? And they got to be desperate to even make a move like this. So I thought it was kind of interesting. And, and, and then I, you know, I went on to the original article, which was um, by blogging the boys in Dallas Cowboys fan community. Mm -hmm. And they had three wide receivers Cowboys could acquire via trade to upgrade the passing and return game. And okay. of course, of course, of course, guess who makes that list? Jalen Ragar, Jalen Ragalar. And it says, as a division <laughs> rival, the former local collegiate standout from TCU, <laughs> Jalen Rager is someone the Cowboys should be very familiar with. Well, if they're going after him, they can't be that familiar with him. Like all of the other wide receivers on the list, he is also currently buried on a depth chart, making him an ideal candidate for a wide receiver needy team to try to acquire via trade. So they literally are going to think about the possibility of doing this. To me, this is insanity. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have to believe you know that the Cowboys wouldn't do this, yeah. but I welcome it. I welcome. I'll, I'll take a seventh round pick in 2082 for <laughs> Jalen Rager right now. Oh I was boy! Do it. I'll do it mm -hmm. right now. Right now. If you want Jalen Rager? You can have him. You can have him because look, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I talked about this in Philly Shakedown podcast. I don't know if he's even gonna make the Eagles roster. Yeah. Like 
I don't know how you pay a guy. I think he's making like three point six million dollars. Ow! The captain. Damn. Here, okay. He's stealing money. I don't know money. how you pay a guy three point six million dollars when you're paying guys like Greg Ward nine hundred thousand and Zach Pascal one point five million, mm-hmm. and you're paying these other guys a lot less money. Uh how are you going to justify keeping Jalen Rager mm-hmm. on a team as the fifth wide receiver? Second Maybe pick in the draft. He's not better than Greg Ward. He's not better. He wasn't better than Greg Ward I mean, last excuse year. Me. First but round the pick reason the why the Eagles played him and tried to get him out there on the field, tried to get him going, is because he's a first-round pick making first-round pick money. Yep. Well, what are the Eagles going to do this year? Are they going to actually go out there? Mm-hmm. And start to see the training camp with Rager as the third receiver? I think they are. I think they are. I think when training camp starts and we hear about the first day mm-hmm. of starting lineup, I would not be surprised if one of the options is Jalen Rager is in the slot. I would not be surprised if would that's not how be the surprised. initial okay. uh, spot goes for him. I can see it. Devontae Smith, A.J. Brown, Devontae, and, and Jalen Rager. Devontae Smith, sorry, let me say that again. It's late, it's late. Devontae Smith, A.J. <laughs> he Brown, can't even get it right. Jalen Rager in the slot. I would not be surprised if those are the guys lining up with the first team when it starts. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. the only reason I say it is because the front office is going to want to push him because he's a first-round pick. Yeah. This will not last long. He will fall really deep in the depth chart mm-hmm. behind Quez, behind Zach Paschal, perhaps Greg Ward. The Eagles will look to probably cut him. Or trade him. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Mm-hmm. Um, so if the Cowboys want him, come no, get him. No, thank you. Come get him. But I, I don't know why the Cowboys would do it. Uh, yeah, Rager, Rager has some talent. I think he's got some mental issues. But maybe a change of scenery would be good for him. If he wants to go to Dallas, I welcome it. Oh, I say it, I say it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. This is what he does, Philly. Philly, buddy, buddy, you know, you should know by now, it's not like anybody cares about Eagles trash. Nobody gives a rat's ass about what the Eagles are doing unless, unless the Dallas Cowboys are involved. Let's be clear here. If you are writing an article and you want people to read it, put the Dallas Cowboys in there. Whether it's true or not, it's fake news, son. Don't fall for to the bullshit. We don't want no regular. We don't want your trash, son. We don't need it. This sounds good because, hey, it gets you excited. It makes you think that we're scared of you. Come on, man. Come on, Denzel. Be for real, son. Be for real. Pop quiz, asshole. You have a hair trigger aimed at your head. What do you do? What do you do, Philly? What do you do? We are counting down. We got about an hour and a half before our live stream. Two and a half hours before it turns into the mega, 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 mega roundtable. I'll see you there.